It's a harvest that not even the Syrian war could stop. And those responsible hope that one day, the know-how behind it could contribute to rebuilding the country. In Lebanon's Bekar Valley, a non-profit organization named Ikada stores and grows seeds with a view to producing crops best suited to helping feed people around the world. Until recently, this facility was just outside the Syrian city of Aleppo, along with many staff, including Ali Shahade, a Syrian he recalls the challenges of trying to work in a region beset by warring factions. It started when they started uh, uh, stealing the cars from the centers and or even from blocking the roads, capturing the car, the, the people, stealing the car by forces. It is, wasn't a pleasant, pleasant uh, experience for a lot of us. Ali has images of the headquarters in Aleppo both before and during the war. Though damaged and inaccessible, it is thought around 150,000 seed samples remain in cold storage there. And, having copied most of these samples, they chose Lebanon as one of two places to rebuild their facilities, which include laboratories and a sub-zero seed bank. Their work forms part of a global network where new crop varieties are tried and tested and then shared with countries and their farmers. Something that will prove ever more crucial as climate change encroaches, says scientist Mariana Yezbak. You will need to make new crops, new varieties that can withstand very high temperature, that can produce yield even with less rainfall. In Syria, it is war, not climate change, that is wreaking devastation on the agricultural sector. But many here believe Ikada expertise, vital to Syrian farmers in the past, could once again be a key to rebuilding this area and eventually the country. Among them is Mohammed Amma Shenadan, the son of a farmer from Aleppo, who longs to return not just to Ikada's true home, but his own too. Maybe it is kind of uh, uh, dreaming, but I'm still thinking to get back to my village, you know, I, I, not, I, I want to put this uh, uh, expert uh, experience I, I gathered, uh, uh, I obtained for in the last 10 years in my village. How many harvests he must wait, however, remains anyone's guess. John Owens for VOA News, Bekar Valley, Lebanon.